Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Coming to you live, well not live, but coming to you guys from the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> I'm sitting out on my dock today. It's just a beautiful morning. I feel so good. I'm just feeling really, really thankful for life and it's about to be the new year, which is crazy to think about. Um, I remember exactly my mindset, how I was feeling this time last year. It literally feels like just yesterday. I feel like as we get older, time goes by a lot faster. It's about to be a new decade, 2020. We're going back into the roaring 20s, if you think about it, which is really exciting. Also, I really hope the wind isn't making a noise. It's not that windy out. So yeah, I um, came up with some goals for 2020, and it's weird. I just watched my goals for 2019 video um, last week, because I wanted to see if I did everything, and I think there was just like one thing that or one or two things that I didn't really feel like I accomplished this year like when I was going through them I was like wow I did that that happened like it was just it was really really cool and so I wanted to film another one of these videos to inspire you guys and then also to kind of like hold myself accountable I like to call these goals instead of resolutions because I feel like resolutions just like this very like in the clouds kind of thing but a goal it's like a goal and you want to accomplish it so I don't have anything very specific like numbers or anything but I just have some things that I want to work on in 2020 and that I'm already starting to work on because I feel like because I'm filming this like a couple days before New Year's Eve and I feel like when you're like oh I'll do it on New Year's Day like it doesn't like ever really happen so I'm trying to start now so you guys should do the same um, so yeah I wrote them down and it's weird because I think I said this in my podcast if you guys don't listen I have a podcast with my best friend Brooke called gals on the go and in my episode with my brother I was saying like I think it was with Freddie or maybe it was the happening with Brooke I can't remember I was like you I think it was the happening with Brooke I was like usually you know I'm so excited for the new year and I'm so ready and I have all these changes but this year was honestly so good like I'm not like wow forget 2019 like 2020 is gonna be so much better like I'm really happy with how this year went and I honestly hope that 2020 will be an extension of this year and just improve even more um, I had no idea going into 2019 that I'd become a spin instructor like what the heck I'm so excited I start mid-January teaching at Pure Velo Athens so that's like beyond exciting I've already like started practicing and everything oh my god the sun's about to come out okay we have to get going I have honestly I think just seven things that I wrote down um, and yeah we're just gonna get started hopefully this inspires you comment down below like your biggest goal for 2020 and might inspire me to do a little bit more um, but yeah number one is I want this is probably my biggest one honestly be less of a planner I'm a Virgo I'm into horoscopes and I believe I'm a true Virgo if you guys are into it I'm a triple Virgo actually which means my Sun moon and rising signs are all Virgo which is like unheard of it's crazy um, and Virgos are known to be like very type A into planning and I'm very much that um, and I love being a planner I think it's a great quality to have. My life is really together a lot of the time. I mean, not always, but a lot of the times I can get a lot done in a little bit of time because I time manage. I'm like very like, okay, I'm doing this at this time. I'm gonna see this person at that time. After that, I'm gonna go work out, whatever it may be. I like to plan. However, sometimes it bites me in the butt and I find myself getting angry at myself or at other people when plans don't go, not my way, just the way it was planned. So that's just like hard for me sometimes and I'm just kind of tired of stressing about it. Like, I don't know like even when it comes to like you know like when it comes to like hanging with friends I'm like okay because I just like have so much I want to do that it's like my friends are like let's all hang out tonight I'm like okay like what time and it's just it, it stresses me out when no one like has a time because then I'll like end up doing something else and then everyone's like can everyone hang right now and I'm like no no one set a time so I like ended up doing this and it's just like and that's just my fault and so I need to get better about just like being more flexible and like obviously I want to still have a structured lifestyle that's just how I work um, but I think there are definitely times that I could be a little bit more relaxed like with my boyfriend for example he's about to come visit as you guys are watching this I'm picking him up from the airport right now and I had all these things I wanted I have like a list of things I want to do with him I'm like okay this day we'll do this this day we'll do that and he's like hey hey like chill like when I get there we'll figure out what we're feeling each day um, you know what the weather's like he's like I just want to hang out with you like we'll figure it out and I'm like okay like it stresses me out because like I want to do so many things and he was only here for a couple of days and I'm like Danielle chill all right my next goal is to be wise with my words and kind of think before I speak not that I don't think before I see I speak but I have this habit of getting really excited about something and then I'll text someone when something's like like about a plan let's say if it's not fully set in stone but I still like want to say something to someone or you know like I just like I just say my thoughts I'm a, I talk all the time and I think there's t there are times where I can kind of 
oh god my neighbor's out where i can kind of pull back and just kind of you know give it a second or like in group chats i'm always the one to be like responding right away not that i want to be like a person like it takes hours to respond but i think sometimes i can like wait for others to speak or kind of like see what the vibe is and feel it out and be wiser with what i'm saying and sometimes say less next i want to floss more okay so you know you go to the dentist and they're like you need to floss and then you get cavities and i never understood why you had to floss like i didn't get it i was like why i don't know my dentist never explained it to me i just never oh my god oh <laughs> i hope that just got on camera look at the pelican oh it's so beautiful wow that really scared me i really thought i was about to be killed okay just switched if you guys have seen the vlogs i switched from my pediatric dentist to just like a normal adult dentist and i'm like i love my new dentist now and she finally explained it to me in a way that i understood it she was basically like every 24 hours there's new um, bacteria is grown again whatever in between your gums and that's where the cavities are always caused and I've gotten a couple fillings I don't like them I don't want any more and but I still continue not to floss um, and she basically explained it like every time you floss you're kind of breaking up that bacteria so if I'm doing it every day that bacteria keeps getting like shot down um, and yeah I don't know the way she explained it to me it just like made sense and I was like, okay, I'm gonna floss now. So I've been flossing, I already started because I'm not gonna wait for the new year. Like there's no point if I can do it now. So I've been flossing at night, not every night. There's gonna be nights that I don't, but a lot of the times I'll just <coughs> floss and I'm like, yeah, I'm breaking up that bacteria. Cause now I like get it. Like I know this might sound dumb, but I just never understood why I was flossing or why I had to. And now I do. So also I wanna stretch a lot more since I've been working out a lot. I've been spinning like five to six times a week, which is awesome. And I'm so excited and I love doing it, but um, other than like the last 30 seconds of the class where they kind of stretch you out a little bit I definitely want to stretch more because I want like I want my body to be happy I don't want my body to hate me. I don't want to be sore all the time I don't really get sore anymore since I spin so often my body's kind of used to it um, But I think I could be doing more stretching just even when I wake up it kind of gets your blood flowing um I don't know it's something that I always am trying to work on and it's just like time-consuming I find because like it's just like slow and you can't just you can't stretch fast you have to take your time but over break since I've had more time I've been like stretching in the morning or at night before I go to bed and it, it really does make a difference and I think it helps your posture a lot and it makes you feel just overall better as a person and even if you don't have time to work out the day if you're stretching I feel like that's great I also this is always a goal of mine I want to drink more water I think I drink a lot of water honestly I always carry around my big hydro flask wherever I go um, but there's some days where like I'll get a headache or I'll drink more coffee than water and I notice I don't feel as good and I think it's really good to like constantly be drinking water it's flushing out your system I pee literally every hour I have the smallest bladder literally ever so whatever but that's not gonna change so I might as well just keep drinking water um, so that's like a big one for me just to stay hydrated because I think it it benefits you in so many different ways I also think it's really important to think positive thoughts I want to do that even more I have noticed in the last year when you think about something in a positive or negative way a lot of times that is the outcome that you receive so if I'm like super negative and I'm just thinking like oh today's gonna be a terrible day like you're throughout the day subconsciously like doing things that are going to help you get to that end goal whether it's negative or positive like you're just subconsciously doing things that are going to make it a negative day or a positive day however you decide to see it so like this morning for example i woke up i was going to the dmv i was like it is time to get my new driver's license because i just turned 21 so i wanted the horizontal license i needed a new photo people constantly think my id isn't me because it was like 16 year old danielle with brown hair like it just was not the vibe um, in soft, freshman year of high school, I had like an existential crisis and I dyed my hair brunette, or not even brunette, like an auburn, and it looked terrible. It literally turned red and it was so ugly and I hated it so much. So anyways, besides the point, I was thinking about the DMV and I was like, you know, you see, it's like so stereotypical, you know, you go, they're like, hi, what's your name? Like, social security number, okay, go smile over there. They don't even let you see the photo, boom, done. And I was like, no, that's not gonna happen today. Today, I'm gonna have a great experience. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get this super cool gal. She's gonna let me see my photo. She's gonna let me retake it. She's gonna be so nice. She's, I'm gonna only be there under an hour. It's gonna be a great experience, boom, done. Like, I was just like, thinking positive thoughts I was like it's gonna be easy I was in there and out of in 45 minutes which is crazy for the DMV like that's just I don't know I feel like a lot of people are there for hours 
I got a super cool gal. She was like, I love your bag. I have one like it. You know, she was super sweet. And then she was like, okay, go stand over there. I suggest standing like five feet in front because then your face won't be washed out. She prints out my ID. And she's like, eh, I don't know, I don't love it. I think you could look better. Like, let's let you take another one. She voids that. She only makes me pay once. She literally lets me take another photo on a different camera, like a better camera. And it, I'm so much happier with the photo. I took the photo twice. So I took the photo three times because she let me take it twice on the new camera, let me see each one, and then went and printed me a new one. And I didn't ask her to do any of this. She just like got my vibes. The universe was just helping me out. And I got a new driver's license that I'm so happy with. I've never actually been happy with like a driver's license photo or a passport photo, you know? And I was so happy with it. I was just so thankful. Um, so yeah, and I left so happy. And that is the power of positive thoughts. I guarantee you if I went there in a bad mood, and I was like, I'm gonna be here forever and I'm gonna hate my photo. Like it just, I just know that's what would have happened. So I just think I wanna do that more because I sometimes forget how powerful it really is. And lastly, I would really love to grow my YouTube in 2020. This year I really didn't focus on that because I don't think focusing on followers is something um, that's healthy and I've never really done that. I started YouTube not even knowing you could make money, not knowing that it would end up being my full-time job Whereas now people start YouTube and not everybody, but people know that you can make money and they might start for different reasons. So I'm thankful I started the way I did very organically. But so this year I was just kind of like having fun. I was busy with school. I was working on spin instructing, whatever. And next year I'll be doing the exact same thing. However, I do want to, you know, maybe create some different videos or work on gaining a bigger audience or bringing in new followers because I really want to spread a message of positivity and I'm really proud of what I do. And I don't know, it'd be cool to grow the Dan fam. So I don't have like a specific number or anything. I mean, it'd be cool to hit 600,000 subscribers. Um, but yeah, I just think I wanna work on really optimizing my YouTube channel and working with the algorithm and everything and bringing in new people. Um, I think would be really fun, but I'm not gonna do anything crazy different because I love what I do. And I think that's my problem is I just, I'm happy with where I'm at and it's awesome. And so I've got you guys and I just like, don't like think about like, oh, I need to make a viral video. Not that I'm gonna try and make viral videos. Like I'm just not, that's just not me, like challenges and stuff. But I do wanna like spice up my YouTube a little bit. And I don't know just kind of figure that all out. So yeah, those are my goals for 2020. I hope this inspired you in some sort of way. I want you guys to comment down below your number one goal for 2020 because maybe I'll add more to my list. Um, it's always fun. A new year is always a great excuse to try something new or to kind of re-motivate yourself, a fresh page if you want. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Happy new year. And I'll see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye-bye.